the mighty Japanese taiko drum. Myth claims it was born when a goddess danced on a sake barrel. Centuries ago, these drums set the marching pace for the fearsome warriors of feudal Japan. The awe-inspiring instruments are carved from the trunk of an ancient tree, take a staggering five years to complete, and can last for centuries. So, how do they do it? In Japanese, taiko means big drum, introduced from China and Korea over 1,500 years ago. Nowadays, the taiko is a feature of festivals and ceremonies all over Japan. Individual drums can still be heard in temples and shrines, but it's the performance of a full taiko group that really gets the pulse racing. The birth of these monsters happens in the Japanese city of Hakusan. Asano Taiko has been making some of the finest drums for over 400 years. Each drum is carved from the solid trunk of a centuries-old tree, and the best Taiko come from a type of Japanese elm called Zelkova Serata. Company president Yasuo Asano explains why. <laughs> In the workshop, the titanic trunk is cut into drum-sized chunks with a chainsaw. Even these smaller pieces weigh in at 265 pounds, so they're maneuvered into position by crane. It's Shinichi Takebe's job to somehow turn this immense piece of wood into the body of a drum. Using a giant lathe, his first task is to remove the bark and trim the trunk until it matches the drum's diameter. Next, he must remove the middle to create the hollow inside of a drum. This special tool slices through the wood and cuts the inside out. A perfect core is then carefully removed as one single solid piece of wood. The core will go through the same process all over again to make another smaller drum. Shinichi hollows the trunk to create the distinctive concave shape. Next, the outside of the body is carved and the shell of the drum is complete. But it's far from finished. The wood has a moisture content of around 60%, which will naturally reduce over time, causing the drum's shape and size to change. So the drums are dried in the storage room. And this is no quick drying process. The drums spend the final few months in the smokehouse, where smoldering wood shavings keep humidity levels low. The bigger drums spend another two months in a special low-humidity, temperature-controlled vacuum house. After over 200 years in the ground and up to five years drying out, the wood is ready for its final carving. Planing it is a crucial step. Any mistake and years will have been wasted. Katsuyuki Yura trained for 10 years before he was skilled enough to finish a drum by hand. The shell is sanded and polished. Once the exterior is completed, it's time to give the drum its unique sound. The next step in making a Japanese taiko drum is to carve the inside of the body. 
It's a meticulous process that directly affects the sound of each drum. Something as simple as a change from a fan shape to a turtle back pattern can alter the taiko sound depending on where it will be played. This fine tuning of the drum's body is the result of hundreds of years of knowledge and experience. With the body painstakingly completed, the wood is lacquered and stained. Then decorative handles are added. Next, it needs its cowhide skin. Shigeo Oku has been skinning Taiko for 15 years. He needs to create a force equivalent to 20 tons to stretch the skin enough to get the right tension. To do that, he needs just one length of rope and some wooden pegs. It can take up to 12 hours of constant tweaking and tightening to get a drum of this size to the right tension. The skin is then nailed carefully into place. Now he turns his attention to an even larger taiko drum. This immense taiko weighs around two tons. It was carved from the trunk of a tree that was over 700 years old. How do you tighten the skin of a drum that's as high as a house? In a fashion only the Japanese could dream up. It's an ingenious solution, and the force of six men bouncing is just enough to stretch the skin and allow the ropes and pegs to be tightened. It takes an entire week of bouncing, pulling, and tightening before the skin is ready for a sound check. And Shigeo needs something a little bigger than his thumb to check this Taiko's sound. Given the all clear, this huge Taiko will go on to take center stage as the booming 700-year-old heartbeat of a Japanese Taiko band. <laughs> 